Hey, sorry, Nate. C could you hear me? I can. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, uh, my question was just, what are your thoughts on that second half? Um, obviously, it ended up coming down to the wire after y'all had a, a big lead. Well, we'll certainly be watching film on that tomorrow. Uh, I thought we did a good job the, set, uh, the first half, uh, or really the first quarter, uh, taking care of the ball, uh, getting attempts uh, at the basket. Only two turnovers in the first quarter. We had seven in the in the second, and we just really kind of lost our composure. Uh, you know, the second half, uh, we knew they were going to come out aggressive, uh, and we didn't do a good job of handling uh, their pressure. Seventeen turnovers uh, tonight for us. You know, they, that's what they do. They force turnovers. And uh, the second half, uh, we gave them the ball uh, and gave up a big 41-point uh, uh, fourth quarter. Chris Kirshner. Nate, what do you think of the confidence of this group going on to the road in, in a, another hostile environment and, and still pulling out the win, even though obviously the ending wasn't pretty? I think they continue to just show growth. Uh, you know, we, we know that we didn't finish well, but I like our start. I thought we uh, came in uh, with a lot of composure. Uh, we came in uh, believing in uh, ourselves. And, you know, we, had, we knew we had to play, uh, get off to a get, good start. And uh, we did that. You know, the first quarter we scored 42 points. I thought our defense was really solid. Uh, in that uh, first quarter. Second quarter, again, we started to turn the ball over, which allowed them to get out into transition. And they, they make you uh, pay when you turn the balls o ball, ball over. So uh, really, you know, we, we had some good quarter quarters. Uh, we know we're going to have to be better uh, in the next game uh, because they're going to be uh, more aggressive. Uh, they're going to be more physical. Uh, they're going to be attacking as they were in the second uh, half of this game. Zach Klein, you never know how someone reacts in a first-time moment, Coach, um, but would you stress to them, we experienced this, yes, there might have been some panic um, and some, as you said, some careless turnovers, but in the end, we won. Oh, yeah, we, we, you definitely uh, would uh, love to teach off of a W, and, uh, you know, we was able to get this, uh, this first game. Uh, I think that's really big, especially for a young team to, to, to get confidence, uh, just, you know, certainly out on the road and uh, was able to do that tonight. But we know we're going to have to be sharper, uh, you know, going down the stretch. And uh, I expect us to, uh, to do that. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Coach, a couple of shooting questions. First of all, how much uh, confidence do you have in your team if it comes down to a free throw shooting contest? You guys uh, did, did quite well from the liner. Yeah, well, we, we have good free throw shooters. Uh, you know, our guys, uh, we like to be aggressive and try to get into the penalty uh, as, uh, as early as possible uh, because we do have good uh, three, I mean, sorry, free throw shooters. Well, and, and on the three-point shooting, uh, this, is a, this is a team record for number of made threes in the postseason. Uh, yeah. uh, what uh, what do you what do you credit that? And especially coming off a game, get the last game against the Knicks when y'all didn't shoot all that great. Well, we, we, you, we you know we got guys that can put the ball in the basket from, from behind the three point line. I thought uh, in that second half we started to settle though. Uh, you know, there's certain threes that we want and we feel we can get uh, if we move the ball. I thought we uh, started to settle. Uh, uh, and take some quick threes that were contested in that second half, which allowed them to get out in transition. I don't mind uh, our guys taking shots as long as it's in the flow and we have ball movement. And I think it puts you in a better rhythm uh, for these guys to be able to knock down those shots. But I thought we did settle a lot more in that second half uh, than we would like. Let's go to Alex Glaze. Hey, Nate. Obviously, uh, you know, Trey did his thing in the first half. Just were you surprised at how the Sixers came out to defend him and didn't see more Ben, especially in the first half? We, we, we really expected a number of guys to guard uh, Trey. Uh, you know, they have a lot of uh, uh, defenders over there that uh, do a good job. You know, their guards are really good on the ball. So they have a number of guys that uh, they can they can uh, put on 
you know, a guy that uh, they want to, to make work. Uh, we knew that Ben would eventually see some time on Trey, and uh, I thought our guys really just did a good job of executing, uh, you know, space in the floor, uh, and we got a little sloppy uh, towards the end and started to turn the ball over. But, uh, you know, we know that Ben is one of their top defenders, and eventually uh, he will – I see some time on a guy who's hot. There. Hey, Nate, I know y'all are not exactly strangers to missing bodies this season, um, but was it hard to, how tough was it to adjust um, without DeAndre Hunter out there being a big part on offense and defense? Really, you know, that's a big loss for us, uh, you know, but it's been next man up. Uh, for us all season long. Uh, you know, we he went up to game time uh, before we, uh, you know, found out that he wouldn't be able to go. Uh, he was, you know, really so good for us in that last series that uh, it was a big loss. But I thought our guys, I thought Solo uh, did a good job of stepping in and being ready to play. And this is what these guys have done really all season long. When a guy has gone down, uh, the next man up uh, has taking advantage of that. And I thought Solo and, and Tony, uh, you know, those guys gave us really good minutes tonight. Let's go to Chris Kirshner. Um, Nate, in the first half, what did you think of the, the team's ball movement? It looked like you guys were able to get pretty much whatever shot attempt that you wanted. It was really good. Uh, it was really good. As I mentioned, you know, especially the first quarter, uh, you know, we, we were scoring and we were moving the ball, only had two turnovers in that first quarter, and we had a big quarter. Uh, the second quarter, I think at the start of that quarter is when we started to turn the ball over, and uh, they were able to get out into transition. So it was really good. Uh, uh, in the first, the second, uh, we got a little sloppy with the ball, and then I think the second half, we, we, we started to, uh, you know, turn the ball over. So that's a number one key really uh, in this series because they do such a good job of forcing turnovers. We must take care of the ball. Christos. Uh, Coach, how big part of your success is uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic and what he brings to the table for your team, especially on offensive end? Okay, can you repeat that please? I'm yeah. How big part of your success is Bogdan Bogdanovic and what he brings on the table, especially on offensive end, and how is he, his partnership with Trey Young? It's everybody. You know, uh, Bogey has uh, done a good job for us this season. You know, Trey had a good night tonight. You know, I thought Clint did a, a, a solid job. So it's not one guy. Uh, you know, Bogey, uh, that first unit is starting to, you know, they've been, uh, you know, built a chemistry uh, with each other, uh, you know, knowing what sets uh, is good for them. Uh, you know, where each other likes the ball, you know, so they've done a good job of screening for Bogey and, and Trey and uh, getting those guys open. Uh, you know, those are the guys that, that put the ball in the hole for us. And uh, so it's a team effort, uh, you know, as far as the execution, uh, you know, for uh, the team being out there. You know, both units are playing uh, solid basketball, but it's, it's not just Bogey. Uh, it's, it's Clint and, and Gallo and John. Uh, those guys doing a great job of screening. Uh, Trey's doing a good job of getting uh, the guy uh, who's opened the ball. 